professional is who you say you are. Yes. Because you're your own expert or thought leader or researcher of a topic, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. like a doctoral program. Yes. You know, you literally pick out like one thing, like one thing, and, and then go that's deep. deep. Mm -hmm. And so when I think about that, that's where I go is that you can be everything. Like I'm mm -hmm. a party girl USA, yeah. but I will still sit down with, you know, the first woman president yes. of the the League of Women Voters uh, that was a black woman, is a black woman, mm -hmm. the first black woman um, that is the president or pa first pa past president, mm -hmm. long title. Right? <laughs> League of Women Voters mm -hmm. and still have this amazing interview with her yes. on my show at night in the third ward. Yes. And me still, you know, very colorful with my mm -hmm. words and everything else. And it doesn't change the value of the interview. Absolutely. It reaches a different audience. And, you know, for me, that kind of stuff is important. Just still being able to accurately be yourself mm -hmm. and still have this level of your own defined professionalism. Yes. yes. Does that make sense? It does. It makes mm -hmm. perfect sense. This, this, this one coach this week, her name is Pam Slim. Um, she was actually Rachel Rogers first coach. What she said is for us to remember that we are the cake. Everything we do is the icing. And I'm like, Oh, that's Ooh. good. That's good. Okay. I'm like, I am the cake. Do you consider yourself like a two tier, three tier cake? You know, I am that, Seven, those really thin, like 14 layers. Oh. That's me. Like all in one. All in one. Right? Like all the little, when it has a little tort with all the little layers. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know the Barnaby's like rainbow cake? <gasps> that. That cake, yes. that's me. <laughs> I'm like, I, I'm all those things. Yes. Some days I'm exactly. red. Don't play with me. Don't play. And sometimes <laughs> I'm like, yay. It's so great to be here. Yeah, yeah, yes. Like sunshine. Yes. Well, and that's what I think we... Your, your point about professionalism as you define it, because yeah. especially for those of you who have come out of corporate and are doing your own thing, oh. at least I found the evolution for me, right? When, even when I look back at my website, when I look back at things I put, it was still so corporate. And it wasn't that it wasn't me. It was me. But it wasn't who I am now. Yeah. It's something um, when I have interns. Yep. I'll talk to them because they're still writing from a very academic standpoint. Yes. And I still write pretty academically, um, unless it's email. Then I'm like, especially if I know right. you, I'm like, yo, <laughs> da, 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 right. one love, yes. all this stuff. But talking about the voice of your business, because yes. then we go back to the mission and your business has its yes. own voice. Like the us space is almost to the point where we have mm -hmm. the voice developed yes. uh, because it's like a mix between my voice and uh, Paula's voice mm -hmm. when she was an intern and Tona's voice when she was yes. an intern and Trey Nelsa, who's now mm -hmm. contracted, yes. moved from intern to contracted mm -hmm. person. And all of that is like developing the voice of the us space and mm -hmm. things that we say in our meetings. And yes. I'm like, okay, that's us too. So yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think we often miss, right? Is we're so busy trying to be who people think we should be or who we think we should be that we lose who we are, right? And, and sometimes it takes time. Mm. It takes time because we've been taught by the response to who we are by society, what's safe and what's not. Oh, that's good. I, because as you're saying that, I was thinking that I have to check on me being me quite often. And <laughs> I've been editing. I mean, quite often, because sometimes the response to the things I do or say is like, oh, my God. Yep. <laughs> right. But then later on, you get a reach out and somebody's like, thank you. Thank you. Or then <clears throat> two, three, four months later. Yes. Other people start magically. It's the evolution and it's so innovative. And I'm yes. like, oh, but I was the bad guy. And, I, you know, just like cussing yes. on stage. Right. Like I tell people, I'm like, what, what, what can it, I do? My, Where's the boundary? Yeah, my friend Jasmine yeah. Brand, she's like, that's what I brought you here Love for, Jasmine. girl. Yeah. She's like, that's what I brought you here yes. for, girl. I was yeah. like, okay, okay, just so we're clear. So <laughs> Yes, yes. Because but but here's the thing about that. Not but and here's the thing about that. What you heard in what Legina said is she is very clear on who she is and what her brand is, what her voice is. She's developing the voice for the S space. She's just very clear on those things, as we all should be. And she is confident enough in who she is and what her voice is that she doesn't have any problem asking somebody else, what is your brand? 
and how, what are the boundaries? Mm -hmm. Because she can still be who she is within some guardrails, right? Yeah. And I think we sometimes think that we have to be different than who we are, mm -hmm. and we don't. You don't. And I remember last year when I got off your show, somebody commented, they were like, I'm surprised you didn't cuss the whole right. time. <laughs> Or when I get right. up and I do youth things yes. and I'm yes. the MC for those, mm -hmm. I can still be colorful and not cuss. Absolutely. Because I, I've, again, I've been editing um, past podcasts mm -hmm. from 2022 and there was one of them and we were talking about the, the traits of a genius. Yes. And one of them is this colorful vocabulary yes, that I have. Yes, it is. Yes. And out of, I think, the 13 things we read, 12 of mm -hmm. them, I am a genius. I had yes. 12 of right. them. <laughs> And so it's not, it would behoove people to think <gasps> right? <laughs> that, you right? know, I cannot not cause, right? But it's, if I'm in my genius, if I'm in my genius, you know, cause the juxtaposition to the whole thing there you go. would be that yes. she's this and yes. can't do this. Yes. And I'm like, I can do this. I can do both All of those of things. Yeah. All of those things. <laughs> and, and that's what I think, you know, it's, it's also that argument we have, especially as black women and especially as any person of the global majority that is in a space that is not created for us is there is a difference between assimilating so that your message is conveyed in the way you want it to be conveyed and can be heard versus selling out. Mm. And we have a real quick move to you just sold out. No, no. I just am savvy enough to know the environment that I'm in and my point is to get my point across. Right. And if that means I have to speak in a way that is very me. calm and clear, I will do that. Mm. If that means I've got to bring on the vernacular, then that's what we do too, right? It depends on where you are. And I would never disrespect my mother, Regina V. Harris, by not using the fact that she was a military officer and we got to move. And, yes. she, and through my mom and dad, we have this skill mm -hmm. of being able to adapt yes. right, to different things. Yes. And I often joke because people will be like, well, how's she get in that room? How's that person her mentor? Who's it? And then I'm like, two things can be true. Yes. Either I get in the room and then they're like, oh, dang it. <laughs> or they're like, yeah, because yeah. I, I never really changed exactly who no, I am no. versus, you know, I can speak other languages. Yes. I can speak all the languages and it doesn't change the root because I'm the no. root, I'm the mother. Yes. This is the original. Yes. So yes. it's it's all there. Just because of the void, don't don't let this voice fool you like that. <laughs> don't get caught off guard. Right? Because and that's the thing. If there's a reason I have my logo's a tree, right? And I and I do that purposefully. And the thing about the tree is if you look at, you know, as trees grow, it's branches, it's leaves, it's fruit, it's flowers, it's seeds, it's all the things that come out of the top of the tree. And those can be a multitude of things, mm. right? Sometimes it's a flower. Sometimes the flower turns into a fruit. Sometimes it's just leaves. Sometimes the leaves change, right? There's so much variety in what the trees produce. Mm -hmm. And it's still a tree. It's still a tree. Even after the freeze, we lost our lemon tree. Yep. And so it's growing back, but it has thorns. And we yes. were told that like it will never produce fruit with the thorns or whatever. Um, but it's still a tree. It's still a tree. Yeah. It's still a tree. It's very thorny. And I, and I think for right? <laughs>